Grass sales coming to an end in some of our biggest department stores this evening, in shops we rarely consider to be institutions until they're gone. Sydney once had the biggest department store in the world, surrounded by retail giants whose rise and fall mirrors our city's history and is the subject of tonight's flashback. Here is a special news flash from... Anzac Day 1968. Sydney is shocked by the destruction of Buckingham's department store on Oxford Street. A Channel 7 news team was right on the spot to record the drama. The store was a Darlinghurst landmark for 60 years. Buckingham's was that whole city block. Shops and apartments now. It's now remembered as one of Sydney's most famous news photos. There was an equally sad end for what was once the biggest department store in the world. For nearly 20 years, it was left as a giant hole in Sydney's heart. Anthony Horder New Palace Emporium took up an entire city block, fronting George, Liverpool, Goulburn and Pitt Streets. It was built 110 years ago. It was so big there were store guides and the greatest shopping inventory in the nation. It was all about customised service and it was all about everything under one roof. Horden's emblem was a tree with the motto, while I live, I'll grow. The tree was destroyed in a storm not long after Horden's was sold to Walton's. It's coming down. Walton's later sold to Alan Bond, its George Street store shut up shop in 1987. Not far behind was Grace Brothers Broadway. The company started 130 years ago, promising honesty, sincerity and prudence. In the 90s the name changed to Meyer and they left the lights of Broadway. It used to be the pride of the chain. Today it's the pauper. Retailing in Sydney has moved downtown and the grand old lady is badly in need of renovation. Mark Foy's was another retail giant, famous for its elaborate window displays. It's now serving time as the Downing Centre Courts. And the biggest parade Sydney's ever seen. But being old doesn't mean being old fashioned. David Jones opened in 1887 and Sydney's longest serving department store is still going, proving some things never go out of style.